So we're on the tracks. We found a dead body. There's a untied tied rope. It's in both states at the same time. Duality of rope. Um, <laughs> the duality couple, of rope. Couple, couple of severed legs. Rope is at once tied and untied. <laughs> um, there's cut power lines and there's a missing crank for it. And there's a tree trunk. Oh, hey! Whoa. I didn't even... Cool. What is that? Look what I did. I found a thing. Rock? It looks like a bloody rock. It's Clive! Clive the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clive, what have you gotten into? <laughs> he crossed dimensions you to this land of goose. Ethan Carter. Oh, God. Fucking Clive. All right, we're taking Clive for a ride. <laughs> Clive's coming with us. That's the first time we've been able to pick something up. Yeah, that's true. It's our first item. Our first item is Clive. <laughs> The rock from, uh, what was that game? The Culling? Yep. Wait, what's that red thing over there? Oh, yeah, hey. Hey, red thing. Ooh. I can... oh. Alright, eyes, make a call. I'm gonna say the red thing. Okay, yeah, red looks more prominent. Inspect! Gasoline. Gasoline. Diesel fuel. Those are two different things, kind of. Carelessly, on purpose, in a rush. Canister. It's very, it, it blows my mind that it labels the last thing as what it is that would be the first thing like yeah. oh there's a canister not right. gasoline diesel fuel of some kind this is like that's the, all i can do with it these are like the thoughts of yoda everything's in reverse yeah right it's a very rainbow colored it's, uh, gas puddle it's like an oil slick yeah inspect dried grass this grass is dried no sun there's no sun i mean that's pretty easily verifiable oh I bet our friend the train car was hit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Rail car. Rail car. So somebody gassed up the rail car to go 100 yards, kill a dude. And they didn't need ditch. the rail car to kill a dude because they found a bloody rock. I found Clive. Clive clearly killed well, that guy. <clears throat> Clive the rock. I think the rock finished him off, but I think the rail car took his legs out because I don't All think right. the rock was sharp enough to do that job. We need to do something very important right now. Okay. And that is to distinguish that... We're not talking about Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay. I don't think he had anything to do with this. No. I think Clive The Rock, or The Rock named Clive, <laughs> had something to do with this. But I do think The Undertaker had something to do with this. I don't think he did, because the body is literally rotting down the block. True. If The Undertaker were, Well, if we're still talking about wrestling, maybe you're right. But touch maybe I can touch him now that I have Clive with me. You still have a I guess not. pint-sized bubble. Let's to. let's see to where he was crawling to. Let's go to... Maybe you have to reenact the murder by the finding the crank direction. and starting the train car up. Well, if I could find a crank... Wait, was there something in the base of that tree? There's... It looks like there's something slightly off-color. No? I can't do anything with... It looks like it's part of the tree. Mm. Just a weird clip, maybe. Um, I think he was trying to go for a swim, so let's let's go do that. Let's go for a swim. That's quite a drop. Um, Wait, do the tracks just end? It's invisible. It's invisible wall town. I can't. What tracks? The blood tracks? The train tracks. Probably. I don't know. I want to go to the shore first. Do you want to follow the tracks? Um. And you want to go yeah, to the beach? Yeah, you're right. Let's go to the beach. I want to go to the beach. Let's see what's up here. This is where I found Clive, right? Yes. All right, so I'm not going to go back up there. Let's go to the beach. I'm going to okay. run to the beach as carelessly and. And fall down a long hill, zigzagging all the way down. I don't think I can fall in this game. This gorgeous game that's very pretty. I can climb a little bit of the rocks, but it, it always ends up stopping me a little bit. And always I'm stuck. And I'm, okay, wait, no. All right, I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> I had a little freak out you because had, I thought I was stuck. You had ankle difficulties. I had ankle difficulties. They've been resolved. Um, the water the, looks very appealing. It does not look... It looks very nice, don't get me wrong, but... You know that water is, like, maybe 10 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> it's frigid. And, uh... I don't want to have a shrinky-dink problem. <laughs> Wait, is that a hole? I thought that was a cave. Yeah, I thought it was a little hole. What is this? Cave for ants? I mean... I keep expecting, because we found Clive in a very, like, inconsequential kind of area that 
I really did stumble yeah, was, upon Clive, and I'm worried that I'm going to miss something. It was super obscure. Like, it's so yeah. easy to miss something. There was this... nothing leading up to Clive. Especially when you have to be pretty damn close to things for them, like... For the inspect yeah. lettering to start popping up. It's nice down here. It's lush. This grass is lush. It is. The rocks are... Can I go in the water? Oh. So close. Oh, you can dip your tootsies in. Uh, my tootsies. But now i got to walk around with wet shoes and socks. I mean, you can take that other dude's shoes and socks. He's not <laughs> going to use them anymore. <laughs> the problem is, like, I'm not taking the shoes and socks from the dude. I'm taking the shoes and socks from legs yeah. that I found at the train tracks. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the guy anymore. I don't think there's anything down here. Nothing but cold water. There's got to be some significance to being down here. I don't feel like anything is arbitrary in this type of game. Yeah. You're kind of right. I mean, so far, it's been nothing but a roller coaster ride of looking around and wait, seeing look, things. Wait, turn around for a sec? Look down at the ground? There's a rock. No, next to so your right a little bit. There's more rocks. There's no, a, it was just a weird colored rock. A mushroom? I guess. Or a leaf? I don't know. Yeah, there's some like weird pattern there. There's a mossy rock. Were you thinking of the mossy rock? I suppose. Or a boulder? Were you thinking of a boulder? Could have been. Um, now I gotta go all the way uphill again. This is bullshit. Is this game is bullshit. There's like no other path? Well, you know what they say about going up and downhill. Once you go all the way up one way, you gotta go the other. Shut up, Ives. <laughs> You're dumb. I mean, you stepped in at that time. <laughs> I did. I feel like I have to look at everything, and that's gotta be really annoying to watch. I feel like you have to be thorough in your inspection of these woods, though, because otherwise you just miss. At some point, I'm just going to be like, fuck it, and I'm just going to start running away. I'm going to miss everything important. Well, that's the pretty significant rock the, uh, slide. The tracks stop. <laughs> yeah. Because the rocks take them over. All right, so, all right. I'm going to run back to the other side to see if I missed anything at the other slide of the boulders, because... The, um... Wait, were those tracks back there? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is really annoying. What's this? I don't These know. are clearly some kind of tracks, right? Yeah, that's not naturally flowing. I'm not a well, weirdo for thinking that. And there's more of them. Look. I mean, I'm a weirdo for other reasons. Don't get me wrong. Just not for thinking that. So let's go see where... I hope I can run forever. That'd be really nice. All right, this is where I got Clive. And I ran wait, there's... It's so like gooey over away. here. I just, I couldn't get away. All right, there's nothing over here. You know what's going to happen? Somebody who's like a pro at this game is going to be like pulling their hair. Go, you guys are missing everything. <laughs> yeah. You guys passed it like eight times. I know where the things are. You hit a roadblock. Yeah. Or train block. Train block. Rock block. <laughs> Mr. Bok Bokok. <laughs> Best name for a rooster ever. Oh, oh, hey, see? Found something. All right, let's see how far I have to get before it. Well, now that I found it, it's really... It's going to stay there, but... Yeah. Do not enter. Do not enter these rocks. Is that a bird's nest? Inspect. Rock, 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 rock. rock, rock. rock. Divot. Fresh dirt. Oh, is this Clive's home? Can you put him there? Rock oh, fix. fix. You put Clive, Clive you're home! home! Why did I... What is that accomplish? What is the significance of that? <laughs> it's a rock shrine. Well, I'm glad we got Clive home. But what what is the point of Clive it's being a, home? It's a Clive nest. Uh, I can't inspect it again. It's just now he's home. I feel like we've accomplished literally nothing. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Clive, you dick. <laughs> You murdered a dude, and then we put you back in your home. Good job. Probably murdered a dude. Jury's still out on that one. I think Clive became sentient. Didn't like there were humans in his woods. You know, he has his own Twitter account. Yeah. I mean, that's evidence enough for me. I mean, just because he's friends with Womble doesn't mean he's not, like, out there doing his own thing. It's darker over here. It I've is. entered the dark woods. <laughs> Maybe, uh... You're on, uh... 
You're on the dark side side of Dagobah, where you would have told you not to go. Jesus, dude. If if this were Dagobah, I think it'd be a lot more dense and foggy. But I'm going to leave the dark side of the woods to you, because I'm a skiod. Okay.